watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Hey folks, if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van, click below to watch now or click on the link in the description section of this video. Hi. All right, 12.50 you say? All right, guys. Going up Pikes Peak, baby. This is easy. This is nothing for me, man. I've gone up, uh, you know, Rampart Range Road is probably scarier than this road. But I thought I'd just go ahead and do it since, uh, since I'm out here in Colorado and I never rode up here on a motorcycle. I did ride up in a car and SUV several times as I used to live out here. But I didn't ride a motorcycle back then. I wanted to ride a motorcycle. But I was like a lot of you guys, a looky-loo looking at bikes at dealerships wishing I can get one I could have got one but I just had more important business at that time but I really wanted to ride always wanted to ride so I tell you guys don't don't waste time you know uh, bullshitting around and get your motorcycle now because this is some fun shit I tell you guys you see the enjoyment that I have man I just absolutely love riding but I tell you guys that I hope this little two gallon tank gets me up this mountain. <laughs> I don't care about coming down because I could just put this bitch in neutral and, and coast down. Make sure that's on. Oh, look at the views, baby. Oh, I heard that. It, yeah, we got some little twisty action up in here, baby. Speed limit's only 25, though, man. I'm already doing like. 11 over. Look at that, guys. Woo! Oh, I love the mountains, man. It's freaking amazing. They said, the guy said it's raining up there, so it may or may not be raining. I don't care. I'm on my WR 250 fucking R, baby. I can do anything. Make sure I got all my shit in my pocket. I don't want that shit to fall out, man. I don't have zipper pockets. And I'd hate to be trying to find my shit out here on the road at night. I don't know if I, hopefully I'll make it down before nightfall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy, this is some fun shit. Uh, is there really going to be any speed, any uh, police officers here that's going to give me a ticket? Or can I just go ahead and light this up? I can't do too much shit on, too, go too fast on this WR 250R anyhow, dude. Ah, oh, now these are the premium roads, baby. Look at these, look at the condition of this road, dude. Smooth as butter. I love it, man. I'm living the life right now, guys. Living out of my fucking bug out van, traveling where I wanna go, doing whatever the fuck I wanna do. I don't have to pay rent, gotta pay no hotel fares. I don't have to pay no restaurants. I'm just got sleeping with my motorcycle. I know my motorcycle's safe with me in the van. Shit, I'm living the La Vida Loca, baby. Don't, don't be a hater. Don't be jelly, man. You can do it too. You know what I'm saying? And I don't have a job to get back to either. Because I got my own business. I'm running my own shit, man. I can come back anytime. I can fucking work from the road, dude. I make my money online. I'm making good money. And you can too if you know how to do it. You know how to play your cards right. I know a lot of you guys are doing it. And you're living the life too, man. Shit, I... As far as living out of my, uh... Bug out van... Uh... 100%, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> it's cool for doing some trips and shit. But full time, I, I'd have to get accustomed to it. Because I tell you guys... It is nice having your own... You know, shower and and, and uh, you know just having the space walk around and shit 
But this is all new to me, so I'm just getting accustomed to it. But really, if I want to just walk around, I just step outside my van, walk around, get some fresh mountain air. And just uh, realize that I got it better than other R than those big ass RVs because they can't go everywhere that I can I, can, I could take this bug out van up here if I want to. Fuck, I can go anywhere with my bug out van and my motorcycle in my bug out van. So that's some real... I tell, I tell you one thing though guys, my bug out van is kind of a distraction because every time I open up the back and people walk by, they always want to chat it up man and it's like I'll be trying to eat my breakfast or getting ready to take a shit or something. Somebody say, oh man, that's awesome dude. One guy stopped me in, uh, in Iowa and he was like, dude, I, this is awesome. He's like, do you ever get, uh, are you able to get away from not getting uh, harassed by cops, you know, trying to stay at free places and uh, trying to stay overnight for free? And I said, no, man, so far, I haven't had any problems. I've been staying, by the way, I've been staying at hotels, uh, parking lots, not in the hotel, of course, but I just mosey on into a parking, and now I stick with the big chain type of hotels, because I know they don't go around in a big, huge parking lot, uh, checking out number plates, so generally, you'll be safe in a, uh, a hotel parking lot. Now, I would avoid those small motels that have small parking lots. They probably keep up with cars. And uh, they'll probably, uh, you know, bang on your van and, or call the police. And the police will wake you up. And they won't get you like at, you know, like 11 or 12 at night. They'll get you at like fucking 4 in the morning when you're half asleep. Waking out, you know jumping out of bed all crazy and shit because somebody's banging the fuck out your door and then they put a a bright ass flashlight on your fucking eyes and can't it blind you and shit not that that ever happened to me but I've heard other van dwellers that's happened to them um, so you gotta be careful and choose your spots you know I wanna haul ass could you imagine I'd love to be in that race, but I, I wouldn't, I'd be the slowest fucker there, though. But I'd love to be able to speed on this road, man. Look at these condition of the road. It's fucking awesome. And, of course, we got a double yellow. No passing, but, hey, man, there's no cops out here, dude. So, you know, our Psycho Cruise is going to fucking do it anyhow. <laughs> I just got to find the straightaway. It's just so many fucking twisties in this bitch. Which is awesome, but I can't do nothing with them, man. I got this slow-ass fucking car. Come on, dude. Give me a straightaway so I can blast through. I gotta conserve my gas, though. I can't be fucking around out here, man. We got a lot of bikers out here, dude. Awesome. Checking my fucking pockets, man. Making sure my shit doesn't fall out. Oh, that beautiful, fresh mountain air, guys. I wish you guys could all be here with me, man, riding. Now, this is one occasion on a motorcycle that I'd love to be riding with a bunch of, of riders up here. It'd be, well, maybe not. Because, like I said, my video uh, that I, where I don't like to ride with bikers, if one of those fuckers falls, which sometimes they usually do in packs, there's usually always one weak link in there. And then you all got to stop, which, you know, I want to help my motorcycle brother and all, but it slows, it stops the flow, you know? We got a straightaway here. Why is it going to fucking stop like that, man? Asshole. I'm going to blast through this guy, man. Come on, WR250 fucking R. Oh, he's turning good. It's like, dude, get out the way, man. Get out the fucking way, shit. I'm trying to have some fun on this bitch. I'm talking about 25 miles an hour. Shit, I just paid $12.50 to ride this bitch. I ain't fucking going no 25 miles an hour, motherfucker. Let's get, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo! I'm having a good time, baby. Uh-oh, we better cool it. I don't want to see, ain't no cops up here. What the fuck, dude? Ain't a cop in this bitch. And if they are, they're probably riders. I highly doubt it, though. I've been up here several times. I've never seen a cop car. Oh, 
<laughs> awesome, baby. We doing Pike's Peak, baby. And we got some trail action over there. Fucking awesome. Uh, is that a cop, dude? No. Uh, I don't say, man. I ain't never seen one before. Don't start now, baby. Yeah, twist the action, baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, baby. I can't do shit on this bike. But it's fun, 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 baby. I love winding these little bikes out, though, man. For real. I really do. And I tell you, you beginners out there, get your fucking small bike, man. They're fun. Work your way up the ladder and then you appreciate that liter bike or 600 or whatever fucking bigger bike you get. Harley, whatever you want to get. Yeah, baby! Let's move and groove. Let's see how fast we can get up Pike's Peak, dude. On a little WR250 fucking R. These cars are going to slow me down, though, man. Fuck! Got some mountain action here, dude. Look at that. Look at that, baby! Look at that view! Fucking amazing! I gotta conserve my battery life, though. I can't... I don't know if I can do the whole fucking WR2... I mean, the whole fucking mountain. Come on, man! Fuck! See, I'd have got killed right there, man, if I'd have passed him, dude. I don't blame... These cars are... They're probably the first time up, and they're like, uh... We don't want to fall off the side of the fucking mountain. You know, I, I took my mom and grandmother up there and they're all scared and shit. It ain't nothing to be scared of, man. I mean, they they uh, hype it up like on TV, like you're going to fall off the fucking edge. It's not even like that, dude. I'm not even all that high up right now, though, but you'll see there's like... There's like, uh, you know, at some certain points, maybe the drop-off is no more than, I would say, maybe 40, 50 feet. There's like levels. It's not like you just fucking look over the side and you're looking 14,000 feet fucking down. Now, that would be, that would be fun. <laughs> Shit. This dude is, come on, man. Fuck, 35 miles an hour? Shh. Okay, let's go slower around the corner because it just might be dangerous and they'll go off the side of the fucking mountain. Look at the twisty action I'm missing, guys. Fuck. Come on, man. Well, they can't let me go by. The... See, I can't. So much twisty action, I can't even. I can't even fucking pass them, man. I need a straightaway. Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Every time I think I could pass, there's another fucking corner, dude. And I'm sitting here riding like fucking. Fucking slow as shit, man. Come on, dude. I could ride my bike bicycle faster than this. Fuck. Ah, bored. Yeah! <laughs> then there'll be another slow fucker up there, man. Come on, dude. This bike is handling the mountain, no problems, guys. WR 250 fucking R. Here's a tighter turn. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting it, man. Ah, I pussied out on that. Fuck. Everybody waves, yes. On the WR 250 R, get more waves than on the sport bike. Because everybody fucking waves to guys on fucking dirt bikes. So for those of you guys that are real sensitive about waves, because you get pissed off because nobody, they don't, you know, you're on a sport bike and the cruisers don't wave to you. You know, you might want to get a fucking dual sport because everybody will fucking wave to you. And then you can just be happier than a motherfucker getting all those waves, feeling good about yourself because everybody's showing you respect. I don't give a fuck. I wave to everybody and they don't wave back. Fuck them. I don't care. You can kiss my fucking ass. I don't give a shit. I ain't even mad about it. 
Just some some people probably don't even know the wave. Probably new bikers and they don't even know about the fucking biker wave. Let's, let's just do a wheelie right off this fucking ledge, dude. Go out with a bang. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.